Once you open the app, you will be presented with the login screen. Here you should enter the credentials you created at intelligentpost.com. During the initial setup, you can adjust some basic settings. First, you should check that the operating mode is set to hospitality. You can also assign a terminal ID. Each terminal should have a different ID number. Next, you will see a list of recent backups. This area will be blank unless we have uploaded your product listings to your account prior to your installation. Or if you already have an intelligent POS terminal, in which case you can copy your existing setup. Next, you can enter the default PIN, 1234. You will now be presented with the main sales screen. There are four sections to the screen. Function buttons are displayed at the top left and bottom left of the screen. Your products will be displayed here. This is the product entry section. Items you ring through will appear here. This is the layout section. Layouts can be created automatically by assigning categories to your product ranges, such as starters, mains and desserts. Or you can create your own custom layouts in which you can include more than one category. For example, you could create a layout for your best sellers. You can configure the app to suit your business through the settings menu. Here, you can add new or edit existing categories, products, and portions. You can create or edit layouts for your products. Create or edit table areas. And set up promotions such as staff rates or student discount. You can add new users and create access restrictions. Set up your printers or air cache units. Here you can adjust the application's main configuration settings and access the help and support section. Here you can access your reports and back office portal and set up a customer loyalty option. Let's return to the main sales screen. Next, we will take a look at the function menu. Here you can do things like view closed orders, process refunds, abandon orders, and cash up. Let's look at processing transactions. First, we will create an order to take out. You can select take out here. From the product selection, we will select garlic bread. The item will now appear in the product entry section. We can now select save. From here, select collection. For the delivery time, we'll select 10 minutes. The order will now be saved and sent to the kitchen printer. Now, if we select View Saved Orders, we can reopen the saved order and complete the transaction. Let's close off the transaction by selecting the Pay button. Here you can select whether or not to print a receipt. We can now close the transaction by selecting the Exact Amount button. We will now create a sit-in transaction. Select the Tables button. Let's select Table 102. We will open a table for two people. We can assign a name to the table. Let's add some products to the order. Let's select Soup from the product list. We can now select one product modifier. For this example, we will select Tomato Soup. Let's add another starter. This time we'll select garlic bread. No further options are available for this product, so no modifiers are present. Now that the starters have been entered, we will now change the product layout to mains.
Let's add a fish and chips to the order. We'll also add a steak. Using the modifiers we can choose how the steak is to be cooked. Choose a side order. And select a condiment. Let's add some drinks to the order. We'll select drinks from the layout options. If more than one of the same item is required, we can use the quantity button. Let's add two coffees to the order. The coffees have now been added to the product entry section. Items can be removed from the order by swiping to the left in the product entry section. We are now ready to send the order to the kitchen. Let's select Save. The order has now been sent to the kitchen printer. If another user needs to use the system, we can now log out. Let's log back in and continue with the order. First we need to select the table button, then select table 102. When the customers have finished their starters, we can select mains away. This alerts the kitchen that the customers are ready for their main course. Information can be sent instantly to the kitchen by using kitchen message. Or a note such as, no cheese on the burger, can be attached to the order by using the message button. When the customers are ready, we can select print bill. Let's close the transaction. Select the pay button. We'll select print in the receipt options. Using the numeric keypad, we will enter £40 and then select pay. The transaction is now complete.